everyone, it's Sagey and today I will be talking about Born by Jeff Vandermeer. This is the first book in the Born series. I read this book because the second one called Dead Astronauts is coming out this December. And MCDX FSG was so kind to give me a copy. I read Vandermeer's book called Annihilation a couple of years ago and loved it so much. And I also did this one. But before I dive into Born, I would just like to give a trigger warning because this book does contain some physical abuse, though it is rather minimal and I won't be talking about it explicitly in this review. Born is narrated by a woman called Rachel, who lives in a place referred to as the city. Ruined by drought and conflict, the city is terrorised by a humongous bear named Maud. This giant monster was created by The Company, a biotech firm whose creations now litter the streets of the town. On one of her scavenger hunts, Rachel manages to find a weird sea anemone looking creature in the fur of Maud. She calls it Born and brings it back home, to the rundown sanctuary she and her partner Wick live in. Against her instincts and Wick's wishes, she decides to keep Born. However, Born quickly starts to grow and become more and more intelligent. And as he does so, he threatens to overthrow the balance of power in the city, making sure that in the aftermath, nothing will ever be the same. I really enjoyed the story. I think that Vandermeer is so talented in sculpting out a story and bringing a world to life. I've said before in my October wrap up that I feel that Vandermeer is so good at writing female characters. I was thoroughly intrigued by both female leads in his books that I read. Born starts off very strong when we immediately get introduced to the city and Maud. People were described as human fleas when it came to him, so you can imagine how humongous he really was. The entire story was very well thought out. There are two main storylines, that of Born, what he really was, how he was growing, and then that of the magician, one of Wick's rivals who is in the process of trying to take over the city. Wick himself is a very mysterious person. He used to work for the company but at a certain moment got thrown out. He doesn't open up easily so I was very eager to read more of the book to find out more about him. And eventually you get to do so mainly through his and Rachel's relationship, which I found in and of itself enthralling. Born as well was such a captivating character. At first he's just some peculiar sea anemone looking creature, but then he starts doing things like moving around when Rachel isn't there, and more weird and creepy stuff where I was just like, oh no, oh no. <laughs> It was so scary because you have no idea what Bourne actually is and it's it's just a lot of bad news. So I started seeing Rachel as a very delusional person who was essentially raising a ticking time bomb. Whilst reading more about Bourne and all of the progress that he was making, I started getting filled with a lot of unease afraid as to what would happen next. At the same time, however, you start seeing how Born starts to develop a personality, how he's essentially becoming a person. And just like Rachel, and to my utmost surprise, I started to get attached to Born as well. Throughout this book, there is this exploration of what it actually means to be a person. Rachel is living in a world in which biotech is everywhere and people have modified themselves. So that line between person and non-person starts to blur and I found that exploration to be a very strong asset to the book. I love the revelations made in Born, and I definitely felt satisfied after reading the book. There was one thing however that wasn't explained in the book and that was the triple of astronauts planted in the ground that Rachel found during one of her scavenging hunts. Three dead astronauts had fallen to earth and been planted like tulips, buried to their rib cages, then flopped over in their suits, face plates cracked open and curled into the dirt. They turned out not to be wearing astronaut suits, but rather some bleached hazmat suits. Born takes an interest in them, but we don't get to know anything more than that. Luckily, those dead astronauts are the main characters in the second book. I started it a couple of weeks ago and I'm really eager to finish it. To sum things up, this was a very lovely and alluring book, so if you're looking for a good dystopian novel, I would definitely recommend this.
Either way, that's everything I had to say with regards to this book. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video.